Okay, so we got the uh, Testo 310, the Intec, and the Insight all in the uh, stack of a 70% uh, efficient furnace. I've got uh, all three probes tucked up in the same cell as close as I can get them together. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to watch uh, light off CO on these and get an idea of you know how quickly they respond and what's going on. So they're all right now at 21, 20.9, 20.9. 0 ppm of CO and let's light off the burner and see what happens. First one to respond is the Testo and we're up to, oh, there goes the back racks. You see the Intec is running by far the highest um, on the uh, CO because it doesn't have a NOx filter so at about 315 the Testo 310 and the Insight are really close together in CO reading um, they're coming back down now they're within a few ppm almost running dead together the uh, the Intec is running uh, about 10 ppm higher I'm not sure what the NOx is because I don't have a NOx filter for any of these O2s are running Almost dead on 626765. Right now we're at 215, 220, and 207. And COs are coming back down again. The the 310 and the Insight Plus are running almost neck and neck the same, 5'9", 220, 5'9", 217, 18. Got a little bit of something going on here because the CO is not stable on either one of these furnaces. Um, but the, uh, the CO response time on all of them is, is about the same. Uh, the Tesla responded faster initially. Uh, the Intec got a, the highest peak CO reading. And so let's um, let's cycle the burner off and on once and we'll take a look at this again so we'll cycle it off, leave it off for a second look at recovery time of the cells so we're at 248, 245 and Tesla's at 198 Tesla's again dropping the fastest we're down to what, 143, 168, 167 Now they're starting to catch up to each other. Testo is still coming down the quickest. Oh, there went the uh, Intec. Just dropped down past it. And this really doesn't, you know, prove anything. Ultimately, we're looking at um, at the, uh, you know, the, ultimately we're looking at um, the accuracy of each analyzer, and uh, they are in slightly different spots in the flue gas, so could have a small effect on it, but they're, they're all in the same cell. All those probes are within a, about a quarter of an inch of each other, so they, they should be pretty darn close. We're down to 7, 4, and 12. So the, um, the Testo uh, and the Intec are, are recovering about the same speed. Let's um, let those go down just a little bit further. And it does take a second for the cells to clear completely out, and that's pretty normal. Uh, the Insight Plus again is still reading the highest. It's still up at 10 parts per million. We're down to two and three on the Intec and the Testo. Two and two and nine. All right, let's go ahead and we'll light that burner off again, and we'll just watch all these. Burner just lit off. Two two eight. Testo's taken off. The Intex still at two parts per million, nine. We're at 410, 500, 365. And you can see they're coming back down again. Now let's. Um, 
let's see if we can grab peak CO rating off this um, off these two analyzers and go ahead and shut them off again and let these uh, go back towards zero again and I'm gonna try and watch peak on one I got a helper here it's gonna watch the other one and we'll hit our peak reading see which one reads the highest peak CO uh, we know the intact will read the the highest peak CO because again it doesn't have a Knox filter so we're going to look at the Insight Plus and the um, Tesla, which are very similar as far as the type of um, chemical sensor and protection. You know, both of them had Knox filters in them, so uh, you know they both should read very close to the same. Um, but I can't watch three at once. I'm not quite that good. So let them both come down and stabilize.